In order to export our drawings into a PDF, the first step is to select all our pages. So in this case, we have three pages, which is these two, one, two, three. And once we have them selected, you want to go to file and say save as the normal way of saving. And now you can call it whatever. Then what you want to do before you save is go to document settings. So by default, it is on entire layout. But what you want actually is to go and click on selected layouts in Navigator. What that will do is that it will identify which pages that have been selected and those will appear on the final one. And then by default, we have color. But since these are working drawings, we just need black and white, nothing fancy. And we say OK. And now you can choose where to save that. You could spend hours and hours preparing whatever work that you want in a software. But if there is no way to present that thing in a meaningful way, then it is of no good value. So that's why in this video, we're going to look at how to publish your work into a PDF. Hi everyone, welcome. And let's get started on this process of saving our work into a form of presentation, which is a PDF. In the previous video, we discussed how to create title blocks and they're going to be essential in this section. So we, we did discuss that we have this tab here, which is the layout book. And under the layout book, we have what we call masters. And that's, this is where we saved all our title blocks. You can see the way we have it right here. And if you haven't got them, I'm leaving a link below so you can get to it. So you can have title blocks for all your master templates. So the thing you want to keep in mind is that master layouts function in the same way as the master slides if you have if you have any knowledge about presentations. So you don't want to actually put your work within the master template. You actually want to put your work in the normal the normal layout but then use the master for things that will not change. For example, the company name, all those things are going to appear on, to appear on every piece of sheet. Clicking here on layout, we can right click and say new layout. And now we have this dialog box and all we have to do is to choose the size, paper size that we want to use. You can see that we have a master layout here and I'm going to choose A1 in my case and I'm going to name it as plan. So once I have named it, I can say OK and you can see that now whatever is here has been pulled from the A1 right here. And you can see that here it is black but once I go to this layout it is red which means I can't edit it. If only I want to edit it, I have to go back in the master layout and right here everything is editable. So let's go back to that plan and here is where you actually want to import in the work. So we have already done the hard work before so I'm going to go here in the saved views and we already have something saved as ground flow and I'm going to pull that by just dragging and dropping in here and we're gonna wait for a couple of seconds and there it is so you can see that it's quite simple to pull information from the outside and drop it in if i wanted the next one which i will click here to on save on view map and i'm going to drag this and drop it in here you can see that it actually updates here you can actually select multiple and drop them hold down shift and click on this next one and drop these in here and it will update just in a second and there it is this is on top of this one so perhaps i should be moving it down here so now what we want to do is to actually scale this down such that it fits in there. So one way of doing it is by doing it manually, by offsetting each and every side, just like the way we used to do for slabs. Or you could select everything at once, which is what I like to do because it saves so much time. So with everything selected, we can go to this icon right here, which is the settings of the drawing. 
and in here we have a bunch of settings this which is where you find things like the scale and you can adjust the scale of this drawing but what we are interested in is actually this thing here called frame and you can see that we have an option to fit frame to drawing so now once we say okay this is going to eliminate those empty spaces and just like that magic we have everything fit perfectly within and now we, we can go in and move things in the right place and again we can take a look at how to actually edit this this information which is provided for us and one thing to note is that these lines actually are not going to be drawn in the drawing itself they are just for framing but they won't appear in the final pdf so don't worry about them so what we want to do is actually to increase the font of this naming which is very light by default but if we select everything and we go over to the settings that we just discovered we have an option for text style so here is where you can decide what size it's going to be what font is going to be and also you can decide how far it is going to be from the drink i think i'm going to choose zero or something and i say okay and now you can see that that gets to be a little bigger and then you can see it's much closer to the drink to do the same but now for the next page so we will go ahead and create a new one for the elevation so right click and say new layout i'm going to make this elevation elev for elevation and there we are so now we want to just come in here and select everything here by clicking on the first one hold down shift and click on the last and drag into the layout and archicad will do its processing for a while and there it is of course this one is placed way off but what we want to first do is select everything go to settings by ctrl t and go to frame and say fit to frame and this should actually do the, the trick and you can already see that this page is a bit smaller than the one we have before and that's because we did not change to a1 so you want to actually change the paper size to a1 so you can see that we have so much more space i think that's that's way too big you know what let's take it back to a2 i think a2 looked very nice it will embody the work so much better so we're going to just drag same shortcuts work ctrl d and if possible, we can reduce some of this such that it looks so much neater. And that will do. And for our final page, we are going to, again, click layout, right click and say new layout. And now we are going to create an A2 again in this one and this is going to con contain our schedule <laughs> and once we click create you can see that it has been created we go back to saved views and now we are going to import in our section and these two things here i'm holding down control as i'm clicking and now you can see that once i import them this is what we have and it looks pretty cool so for this one like we did before go to settings click fit to frame and it looks better and then for these two schedules if you are not interested in the naming which is below because this is saying do schedule and then as well at the top we have do schedule you can go back here in the settings and under title you want to choose no title and then you can see that that disappears so that will do the trick okay so then finally the drawing that we are missing is the side plan there you are and this is way bigger so in any case in case you wanted to actually make that bigger make the paper size bigger we could change this to a1 and eventually of course that would encompass it but since i have nothing more to put in the opening spaces i'm going to keep it to a2 and show you something cool 
for example if we wanted this to actually fit in here we might need half its size so this is where you go into settings and then under site and appearance is where you choose the scale let's make the scale half the size so that would make 1 to 100 to be 1 to 200 which would be much smaller and that would be good i can see that now it's going to fit and then as well i might need to fit everything in here with frame fit to frame frame to drawing okay Dup that's really good we can now position it and one thing that i wanted to one thing that you should note that is really common if i go to the to this drawing let me open source view you can go back to the drawing by opening source view and now this is where the drawing is being pulled if in any case there was something which is off this drawing for example a line somewhere here or any kind of thing that was drawn in this page and then i go back to the layout the drawing starts to update and you can see what is actually happening so sometimes you can have something like this and you're wondering why your drawing is looking weird and that's because you have some things that are drawn just a bit far off that are disturbing you so i'm gonna have to go there and delete this decoy and then once we go back it should start to update and there we are clean again okay so now i'm happy i'm happy with everything instead of doing everything all over again for the font here what you can actually do is pick parameters from this side you can pick so you can click on pick a parameter and once you click on this drawing you can transfer those parameters on the second page which has the elevations so I will inject in here and you can see that now those parameters were picked up and we can do the same for, for the next or use the shortcut which is uh, control control alt click in order to transfer parameters in here you can see that now it, it has the right information and control alt click and that is interesting now if we go also to the schedule area we want to to inject the parameters and you can see that that is also interesting although what we need to be aware of when you're injecting parameters is if you hold ctrl alt and click now it will bring back the say the old scale so once you do that you may want to go back and actually take it back to 1 to 200 as opposed to 1 to 100 which is kind of right here one to two hundred and there we are so now the final part is to save what we have just put on the layout so in order to do that in order to export our drawings into a pdf the first step is to select all our pages so in this case we have three pages which is these two one two three and once we have them selected you want to go to file and say save as the normal way of saving and now you can call it whatever and then i'm going to and then what you want to do before you save is go to document settings so by default it is on entire layout but what you want actually is to go and click on selected layouts in navigator what that will do is that it will identify which pages that have been selected and those will appear on the final one and then by default we have color but since these are working drawings we just need black and white nothing fancy and we say okay and now you can choose where to save that and just on the desktop it's going to do and i will say save and that should be saved let's open it and see what that looks like and there you have it you have yourself the first page the second page and the final page and you can see that on this second page things look a little closer and more vivid as opposed to, to the first page and that's because this is a much bigger piece of paper so if i go to 
view here and then I display in scrolling mode let me enable scroll such that you can see what I'm talking about once I scroll down you can see that this is actually a smaller paper size and you can see the drawings looks pretty awesome all right so that's been it for today thank you so much for being with me throughout this series i hope you did learn a thing or two so subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time